Hello and welcome to a short demo of the application, performance monitoring and uh, GFS integration features of SCOM 2012R2. To support the DevOps scenario, these uh, two features are really great. Uh, application performance monitoring allows you to monitor your dev, um, .NET and Java applications um, as, as the transactions in those components uh, occur real-time in, in, in live and production. Uh, and the developers will get access to really deep uh, insights about how their uh, applications are performing. And the operations uh, uh, team, the operator working in the uh, SCOM console, can assign alerts to uh, the, the uh, developers via uh, the TFS integration as uh, work items uh, in TFS. Um, so it's really great features uh, that supports the DevOps scenario. Um, so this uh, setup here, it's uh, a small lab where I've, I'm uh, running uh, three uh, web applications. Um, one of them being our our own uh, Cortex dashboard for SCOM. As you can see here, I have two sections in this dashboard. One is showing the current health of the uh, business applications, uh, IT services and infrastructure. And the lower part here shows the uh, service level objectives I've configured in SCOM. You can see the last week uh, application response time and the last month application response time and the current uh, status uh, for this month. And you can see that we are we are uh, improving. Uh, and down here we have the av availability for last week and last month and this month. So if you're interested interest in this uh, dashboard, which is great to uh, put up on wall-mounted screens, then go to our website, uh, cortec.dk. So this is one of the applications I'm monitoring. Um, besides that, um, if I go to authoring, you can see that I've configured uh, the three uh, uh, components or applications that, I, that I'm monitoring using APM here and if we go down to the TFS integration part I have co configured one TFS uh, collection here where I am uh, have three parts actually I have a default project where all uh, APM alerts will be that's not p uh, part of any of these specific projects down here will go to so here I have uh, alerts or configuration that will sync alerts from our scum dashboard monitoring to a uh, scum dash or to a TFS project and a specific area and down here I have a uh, the other uh, application the content management system applications I've just called the project here test project but it will go to uh, to this one I'll show you later uh, in a moment how it works I'll cancel this one so um, let's go back to the uh, APM alerts here. So here I have uh, some alerts, uh, some are new and not assigned yet. Well, I have one from uh, the uh, one application, uh, and here I have the uh, content management system where I have one alert that that's already assigned. And here I have a uh, an another one from the uh, content management system that's not assigned yet. So what I do is uh, to assign it to uh, to a developer or to a project in TFS. I'll just right click here and select assign to engineering. So um, down here there's a link that will go to TFS uh, that will open up the app diagnostics web interface where the developer can see really deep uh, information about the uh, the the alert. He will be a a able to access that from the TFS work item. Um, the operator here can also access uh, the uh, synced alerts uh, here, so he can actually open the Team Foundation web interface and see the uh, status of the uh, the uh, alert here in TFS. Now, if I go over and open the uh, TFS web uh, interface, I have my project set. I have the default project where all uh, alerts that are not mapped to a TFS project directly 
will be. So I'll just take a moment. My my lab here is uh, pretty loaded. There. So I'll go to uh, to work. And you can see here I have uh, the uh, uh, one of the alerts that I already assigned to the uh, or synced. So this component here is not mapped directly to a uh, TFS project. TFS project. If I go to uh, to the SCUM dashboard project and look at the work items. So I have here the uh, the alerts that are uh, that from the SCUM dashboard that are mapped directly to the project in TFS. And if I open one of these. You can see here I have the uh, link to the app diagnostics interface. As a developer, I can also acknowledge that I have uh, accepted the uh, the work item here. That information will go back to uh, Operations Manager and change the status in Operations Manager. If I open the uh, the app diagnostics interface here, in production you will not have to log in here. One moment. Great. So here the developer can actually go in and see uh, exactly where in the code the problem is, uh, what components uh, uh, that takes uh, a long time, for instance, uh, of this, or if it's an application failure, or where it happens, if it's a connectivity issue, and so forth. Um, the developer will also be able to request a uh, the uh, SCUM operator to uh, initiate a uh, internal trace uh, file collection or debugging collection, and that file will be uh, stored on a file share where the uh, developer will be able to access it uh, and and do debugging on. Um. So this is the uh, end of the demo. Uh, hope you liked it. Uh, you should really look into the. Uh, application performance monitoring feature and uh, and the TFS integration uh, feature uh, if you have uh, develop developers in-house or just use the APM features uh, for monitoring uh, your own or third-party .NET uh, applications or Java applications. Thank you very much.